It is Saturday, the December 19th. We went up to a different city, bought a burn barrel, and started burning some of the piles from over here. We've got my mom's neighbor, uh, Terry. He's an awesome dude. He helped pull our RV up here from Visalia. And now we're gonna go try to pull some trees out. So we'll see if this works. Whoa, nice, that came out real good. Next, that was like butter. Say hi, Terry. You want to wave to the camera? <laughs> there we go. Woo! Dude, look at this root. Wow. You weren't joking those would be easy to pull out. Yeah. Drag it over there? Oh, well, I could drag the tree over if you want to start hooking up to that next one right there. Pull yeah, pull that one out. You could probably just pull all three of those out if we got time. I know. I can't believe how easy that thing just came out. So yeah, just unhook it down on the ground and yeah, I'll just drag it over. No, I think you might need to pull it more. Oh, we'll see. I've been pulling over some pretty big uh, piles. Oh, it's light. Yeah, we had piles bigger than this stacked up that we've been pulling over, so. Right wow, that was awesome. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Gotta pull it. I'm gonna have to set this camera down. Sorry for the jiggling. I may cut that out. I don't know. I may leave it in. I might need to bring like a little rock over here to put the camera on. Okay. Here, that's your mom. Yeah, bring that to me, honey. Ooh, come on, Shira, my little Wonder Woman. That's here, set it down right here. <sighs> Trying to find a place to set the camera so it doesn't wiggle so much. Mom, look at this. Let's see if I can. I can set it up. I need, no, put some dirt underneath it. Under, under, with your Wolverine claws if you can. Look, there's all this loose stuff right here. Claw it. You see how you're clawing it with the pink one? You gotta use the claws. I know, but I might break my fingers, it hurts. Here, let's lift it up a little bit more. I'm not done. Okay, move. Let's see if that works. There, that might work. Could I hold the camera? Yeah, don't wiggle around too much. I don't know. Well, hopefully it holds because it's splitting in half. You gonna go that way? Okay, come here. He's coming this way. He's gonna go around that way. Come here. I know. Yeah, Look at that. That is pretty. Look well, at the yeah, inside. It for us too. <laughs> Thank you. I want to. Can I take a little. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, that's good. I want to go show the inside. Okay. Wow, how cool that is. I know. It makes a big difference. It does, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah? This one. <laughs> it is pretty wood. Here, Mom. Bam. Kabushka. Kabam. Hey, you got the rocks up, too. Good. 
This is nice. All right, let me see the camera. All right, we're gonna. Oh yeah, that I would have had a cut root. Pulling our RV through, or a fifth wheel, through some tight spaces. But the back road just seems to be a little bit easier than the front road. Still scraping on some stuff, but it is what it is. Husband's got the chainsaw and he's trying to cut some stuff back, but it's still a tight fit. I'm coming up around the last bend. So hopefully, oh gosh. Is that going to, I think he should back it up. He's got so much more room on this side. Still a bit of a tight fit, huh? Almost there though. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, we're almost there. This is right around the corner. Oh yeah, that's okay. And that one loose bar up there, it's all bent back, but that's all right. Yeah, because it was still hitting some of the stuff on the top, and I hear in the scratchings. It's okay. Yeah. It's an old thing. It. Yeah. I When we moved the RV, when we got the RV down here, there was some damage uh, that was done to the rubber seal on the roof and we got um, some, no, it's not that. I don't know what the title of it, what it's called that he got. It's uh, specific for feeling, fixing, uh, lap sealant, maybe. I'm looking in the trash can right now. He did that yesterday, but. He got it all fixed. I don't know if you can see it. I think he needs to re-glue some of it because some of it was pulling up last night when he was doing it. Uh, so he'll probably need to do it, but you can kind of see the little blobs and stuff up there. But in the meantime, I did get, oh man, I need to sweep in here. It's a mess in here. We're not living in it yet, almost. But I got bedding for my room. And got some other stuff, got some sleep, extra sleeping bags. The beans area is all good and to go. Um, oh, look at there. My son was already laying in his bed the other day because we were here kind of late. I wasn't recording, but he got cold. And he didn't make his bed. Teenagers. So, also stocked up on uh, preemptive and after post and pre uh, poison oak stuff because that sucks. IVX, this is pre-contact skin solution. Maybe I'll do like a video to see if it actually works or not. So I got a lot of pre stuff. If you think you've come in contact with it, this is post contact skin cleaner. Um, um, this stuff right here is meant for healing, uh, I guess to help the itch. Um, you can see maximum strength. It's supposed to help a lot of itchy things. It's a first aid ointment. And then Tech New. This has, I think, some pretty good reviews. Removes poison egg oils. And I've said so this is after you've come in contact or you think you've come in contact with it. I also have some uh, wipes that are coming in, some po um, pre and post. So we'll see. Um, I've already um, have used uh, this stuff right here. Um, and it seems to, oh no, not the pre stuff. Where's the other one? The post stuff, I've already used this a couple times and I haven't had any new out outbreaks.
One of my son's friends wanted me to show or have an update um, of my poison oak. So I'm going to set the camera down. Now, it has been about a week uh just this last saturday and today is christmas eve which is i don't even know what is it wednesday when you don't like work or have anything then oh today's thursday haha -ha. so this right here it's still itchy but it's not as bubbly as it was and a lot of this a lot of this itch area right here I was putting a band-aid on it because I was moving stuff around and I didn't want branches to be dragging on it while I was putting um, moving wood around so that popped up after all around the band-aid area so and then the stuff on my neck is pretty much gone that went away about three or four days ago it's not so much itchy anymore I had a some piece over here and a chunk over here and it's all gone Oh, I'm being hailed. So it's the day after Christmas. Hopefully everybody had a good holiday, being safe and whatnot. Um, so we learned a little bit more about fire permits in uh, Madera County. And we'll be getting one um, hopefully January 1st, because they go from the, the first to the first but you can only do like four by four brush piles so instead of doing the big huge pile that i was going to do because i couldn't find measurements beforehand um see that was the big huge pile because we got pretty much everything that we have pulled up so far and even raking and moving stuff with the wheelbarrow um to clear it all up so i started pulling this into smaller sections and they need to have a, a 10 foot clearance around them um, for the most part what they have a couple of them might be a little bit bigger than four feet but um, we'll need to rake a little bit more in between I don't know yet if we're gonna try to do all of them at once I may try to see if uh, I can get a couple other adults up here to help us monitor but you also need to have water and shovels on hand um, so that if it does creep out, then um, you can manage it pretty quickly. So, yeah, that should be happening soon. And then another thing we did is we're planning on building a 30 by 40 garage slash workshop. So, and we're going to have it, since we're going to have it in this area and we finished cleaning all the bushes out of here, the, we started doing the measurements for it. The measurements aren't 100% accurate right now. We just wanted to get a visual, and we are going to have to cut some more dirt away from this bank over here. We'll probably actually take all the dirt away so we don't have to worry about mud and erosion buildup against the side of the shop. Um, but it's going to be 30 deep and then 40 wide. Um, this side works out pretty well, and the dirt's pretty soft, it's pretty easy to move, and um, this still goes back quite a distance. Um, we don't want to pull up too much of the manzanita because we both are in love with uh, how beautiful it is. This one, unfortunately, is going to have to come up. And it looks like there's a big granite rock right underneath it. So we may need to use the tractor or get a truck to pull it out once we dig up around it. I don't know if you guys can see or not. But you can see there is a granite rock with the moss. And that manzanita is growing right up against it so then we need to dig down and level the dirt out so eventually when the shop is up we are going to be doing the foundation ourselves and ordering a metal shop online and putting it up ourselves maybe the help with uh, from a couple people um, but we'll have uh, the idea is to have a rolly door or two in the front to put cars in if need be. And then have maybe a single door or maybe a kind of like a barn door, French door or something coming out to the back. So this will be additional little maybe storage area. And I do want to build 
easier access to climb up this way. So we'll need to clean this out and I might do some kind of cement structure for little stairs unless we find some other cool rocks to makeshift some stairs going up and make a stairway to the lake that's way back there. So that is the progress so far. Um, we also were trying to get the septic to be hooked up, but we thought the hose was longer than it is. So I have to go get a couple more hoses to connect it to make it longer. But we have all the other parts. And when we did get to the RV, it did rain today. It was raining this morning. And we came out to check our patchwork to see if it worked. And there was a small leak in the RV. So he went up and found the area, repatched it, and tested it out with a bucket of water. And it seems to be holding. So here's the hose for the septic. And as you can tell, that was not a good judgment at all. We got our PVC pipe and we need to make sure that it goes uh, downhill so gravity can help feed it into the big huge poop container below the ground. So yeah, getting a lot done. Still got a lot more to do. All right, well, everybody out there have some great holidays, be safe. I think today's Tuesday, the first Tuesday after Christmas and we pulled out some more trees well I think I got that yesterday on the camera but we uh, took out the manzanita out of the corner we're getting the shop lined up more and excavating dirt from this rock so that we have more room to walk around the shop once it's in we're gonna have the house up before it's done yeah why don't you get a hey why don't you take the pickaxe no. He wants to use that tool. He thinks it's cool. I don't think it's cool. It's just not effective. And we're starting to fill in this mud. So now we can see where the mud gets trapped. We're going to start pulling dirt over here and filling this in. All right. Mom, make sure you get it on camera. You ready? I'm ready. What are you doing up there? I have a match! Good job. Good job. Yay, dirt avalanches. I know. <laughs> Live with it. We have to. You want to say hi to anybody, Javen? No. Hi, if you watch this, I will personally come to your house and punch you in the jaw. Hey. Lame. Lame. He will not. Oh, I Obviously will. He won't. How's he gonna get there? Yeah, he has I no will car. Run by foot. Yeah, you're lame. And I cut this little area out for Lyra. Oh, my little hideout. This is her little hideout. Yeah, it is. <laughs> started cleaning up the the dead branches up here got a lot of stuff to pull out man we're gonna have a huge fire <laughs> or lots of little fires that last a long time all right let's go walk over real quick and see how mom's been doing yeah she is She's a super weed whacker. She's got all this cleared out, extending our fire line. Ooh. Go mom! <laughs> Ooh, here we go. We are making our own little stone hinge roundabout. We got like several rocks. Plan is to have a tree wheeler. We're we yeah, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. What the hell? Barrel is. We're gonna do a willow here, fill in some plants and whatnots. But we're gonna have the roundabout around there. Oh, listen to these complainers. Who's complaining about what right now? Huh? What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Hey. It's not recording. I know for a fact that it probably is. I know for a fact it probably is. I don't get or it you can get a rake and go find an area to rake. I know that that back spot, you guys could probably fill the wheelbarrow with that back spot alone. Yeah. yeah and that's our nice little uh, circle.
camper died right when we were getting ready to push the rock up. So it's got a little bit of a charge left. We're gonna see if we can at least get on camera the last rock that we are going to move kind of in an upwards position. So that was the easiest one. Yeah. The toughest was probably this big one right here. Standing it up. Standing it up, because it's a big flat one that we had to dig a hole and shimmy a lot. And then this one was kind of hard, but I think the biggest, the hardest one was that big one, that big long one. The rest of these are pretty easy. You can see they're a lot smaller. That one was pretty difficult. That was our first one that we got experience with, but it's not nearly as heavy as that one in the back. That one took a while. All right, enough of today. I'm gonna go to Taco Bell and I'm going to order the Chalupa Slam. Where do they talk? Why can't we have mute kids? It's raining. You could have, dude. You are still. Look at that. It's your turn. Yum, 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 yum. You see this? I did this. Yeah, good. Continue getting. There's a ton no, up there. Turn. I did half. It's Lyra's turn. Yum, 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 Break them. Look how much is up nope, here. She's got to do that now. She didn't help at all. It's her turn. Okay, don't she's hit gotta the work. camera. Huh? So don't hit the camera. I'm about to smack the hell out of that camera. I don't think the alternator is charging it either. Come do your job, Lyra. It is like a dream. She will. Before we leave, stop harassing her. Because if she doesn't, she doesn't get to be on my computer today. So, what? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Back that ass up. Can I like hit the camera with a shovel? Just like give it a good old one, two, a pa. You know, just a good old da 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 Just a, just a, just a one, Stop. two, a ka. Not you. Him. You need to back it up. Oh, yeah. Back that up. Oh. Alright, he breaks it. Back that up. Don't hit my flag. Yum, 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 yum. It's a nice flag. Yum. When you no. use sour cream. Oh, Man, I love it when you don't talk. Man, I love it when you will shut up. Okay then, let's just both stop talking. Mutual agreement.
watch a channel run by my parents and I eat two No, um, we Back shovel when I here, shovel there. Around shovel. Shovel. You can, There's a round shovel right there. Well, you're using it, are you? Nope. It's all yours. Um, the warehouse house is open, though. Got the RV up here. It's been up here. We've been fixing the the bedrooms and bringing linens out. Got some damage to the top uh, rubber seal, so we need to fix that. That'll probably be tomorrow. Whew. Yep, it's coming along. see about trying to put a picture in the video so you guys can see our blueprints yay um, we got our doors and windows all looked at and squared away and so he's going to be finalizing that aspect of it and we should be signing off on it on Thursday we did think that 
foundation might go in on February, but since it's been a very warm, dry winter so far, um, he's not anticipating to be able to put foundation until March. Oh man, and if this was cleared out, I don't know if you can see through the trees, the sunset. Don't get a very good view from this angle. I'd have to take you all the way down to the, the back side, but that is really orange and pretty over there. So we got a couple more trees pulled out of this area because you can see where the, a little bit, where the yellow flag is. And then coming across this to about the other yellow flag, there's rock in here. They were using some feather shims and uh, drills uh, for rock and drill to some of this rock away. And we're gonna excavate as much as we can out of this so we don't have dirt right up against the house. We did bring a few trees up from down there, but not too many. Some of the dead ones. There's some more that we need to pull up. Oh, it's going to be so pretty when we cut the trees. It's a lot of purples and stuff, but not the full sunset. <laughs> Getting there. Yep. When the earth rotates and we get more of a that other angle. So, I was cleaning out this area too over here. I'm taking the dead branches out of this tree. I'm going to take all these little saplings out and cut the tree back to open up the path. And I'm saving some manzanita wood because um, I want to make a, a primitive gate and fence using natural wood that we find. So we'll see how that works out. I have the idea in my head, but like I said, we'll see. All right. Eventually I'll get this posted. I think I'm about three weeks late, but the weather's been so nice and it takes so long to do the whole uploading process that um, I haven't been wanting to waste the sunny days on um, editing videos. I'd rather be out here doing stuff. So um, it's supposed to rain soon. It rained a little bit last night, but not enough. Um, yeah. All right. Soon this will get pushed. Bye, guys. A rope to a tree. Man, that cardboard's already torched. You still have confidence in me. That, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the cardboard. And the rope. Maybe I should cut some of that rope off. Use it. It'd be better. No, it's just going to go through the cardboard more. That string's too thin. What? Yawning, that's what. Uh-uh, just let down, lay down. Let her just... This will help. All right. Now you've got nothing Try to... Try two. Take you got, two. You got nothing to curl. There's no standing on it. That yeah, you can start too, too, too high. You're too tall. <laughs> Maybe. Wiggle, wiggle. Inch it forward. I need a freaking lid. Yeah, I don't know if I kept those or not. We do have snow lids. I need that. I don't know if I kept them. I think I got rid of them. I got rid of a lot of stuff when we were moving. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, right on the butt. <laughs> That's all right. The tree's big. You might shake it, but it's not coming out. Do you think I will one day? It's starting to get cold. I'm going to have to get moving here. Darn, no bloopers. Huh? Are you going to try to slide down? No. <laughs> Why not? Tuck your feet in that cardboard.
<laughs> that just ripped it in half. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're going to have to find you some plastic something or other. Okay, Lyra found something else she can use. Watch your fingers. Go. Yay! We just got to add handles to it. You want to try that? Yeah. Okay, hold on. See the numbers? Now it's recording. Okay. So we are up here right now. Don't press any buttons. And I'm about to slide down. Okay. Should I put it right here? No. Well, you're going to have to hold it with your toes if you put it right there. Maybe put it in between your knees. So what? I don't know about that. <laughs> put it between your knees. That might fall out. Well, do you think you can keep your knees closed? I'll try. Okay. Ready? Get it out of the dirt so you can get dirt in all the shorts. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. I went from up here to down here. Okay, now press the top button to turn it off. Okay. morning uh this is the first thursday in january i haven't looked at a calendar for a while so i'm not so sure it's the sixth the seventh i don't know anyways today we are chipping and uh my mom needs some mulch so our chipper is chipping up that and we're gonna be getting her quite a bit and he's working at that because the bottom one does that. The top one does like a longer stringy thing that doesn't look too cool. And then some of the rock that we found uh, kind of breaks apart pretty easy, some of the granite. So what we're doing to offset some costs for the shop, because you need pea gravel or something akin to that um, underneath the cement when you pour the foundation. So over here, we the, the granite that breaks up pretty easy, we're gonna be breaking it up, sifting it, and then putting it over here for use. I don't know how much we're gonna be able to do because the shop is gonna be 30 foot by 40 foot, and that's a lot of gravel, but maybe it'll offset the cost so we don't have to buy like a full, uh, whatever cubic tons of it and here's our little rock area we're throwing stuff over here most of this can be broken down the harder stuff we're going to save uh to try to create our own veneer for the siding and i think we're moving away from doing the entire house because the weight load is going to be too much so it's going to be accents with uh stucco i think so so that's what's going on today we may have a burn pile because it is kind of cold out and overcast. Uh, my mom will probably bring the kids up a little later to cut branches to feed into the wood chipper. Um, yeah, so talk to you guys later. So the sun has come out and it's beautiful and it's warm and I've been working my back and my arms a whole lot. So I decided to work my thighs a little bit and although there's not much battery left on the camera I'm going to see how far it'll take me but I wanted to take you guys down to the creek area because we kind of found like this little cave so it's probably going to be a little wiggly because I don't have uh, the thing that attached to the GoPro um, to put on like a helmet or anything so Let's go. It's a good thing the sun's been out because some of the lichen on the rocks gets a little slippery when it's moist. So we gotta go down this area right here. 
this is huge. Mercury area. Whoa. Inside some granite rock. Uh, and this is pretty cool. I like coming down here. I don't know if the camera can get the how big this is. Well, it's not really a full-blown cave. If that rock on the top tipped over, then it would be more like a cave. But you can see all the erosion from the past creeks that have flown through here. Some of these rocks are pretty slippery too. You can see how much the water has gone over and it's just smoothed out the rocks. Look at there. There's huge crevices. My kids want to come down here all the time, but I've got to find ways to kind of block those because they're pretty deep. The cave I just showed you further up, it's probably like a 20 foot drop and a body can fit through, just like with this one, a body can fit through this. So I've gone a little bit past this in exploring, because this is still part of our 13 acres. But there was a point I stopped because there was a lot of poison oak. You can see that tree right there. It's poison oak. Not many of the other ones right now are. Uh, that's going to be kind of a drop. I might have to find a place to set the camera. Let's see if it'll stay there and not fall. So that crack comes down into here. And that's pretty dark. It's beautiful. Oh, it's getting slippery. It creaks slowly, just not enough rain yet. This was all dried out about three weeks ago, I think. Let's see, let's go up this way. Oh, this tree is not poisonous. This is okay. Oh, look at that tree. It's dead, and it's growing inside the rock. Ooh, there's a little bit of poison coming out of this. You can see right here, the cinnamon stuff coming out. So that I don't even want to get near. I don't got long sleeves on today. It was overcast, but the sun came out and just warmed everything up real good. Now we gotta get the land surveyed again, because I don't know how, actually how far our acreage goes in this back area. Man, there's some massive, massive rocks out here. Oh, somebody's out here. Uh, at some point, it's a little sweater or something. That's poison up too. See this? A lot of little trundles. I won't be going in there. There's a lot of little ones coming out all over the place. It's pretty awesome rock outcropping, though. Oh, look at that poison oak growing right up the rock. And we've seen a couple people start coming down this way. Not this far, but on the rocks closer to the pad. So I guess. Yeah, that's if there's no poison oak in there. There's a big old crack somewhere over here that I wanted to stick a piece of wood in. Since there's like all these crazy like four by four posts down here. That's another big one. That might be good. Oh, that one's kind of big and heavy. There's a tire. Yeah, and the cinnamon tips. Yeah, there's a couple of them that are pretty big. No, there's some down that are like trees. I already told you, we need to get one of those sprayers. Yeah, the sprayers. It'll soak into the ground and kill it. Well, if salt kills, then, you know, it's going to soak into the ground. Yeah. Cave walk. Ugh. Ugh. 
Whoa, slippery. That's not where I wanted to put it. Stop. It's probably not going to be until spring. Weather's nicer, easier to go camping. There goes my post. Oh, and I slipped. I almost went off the edge. It's probably the second time I've done that. So I want my, my kids coming down here by themselves. All right, set you down again.